you know, the last record dealing with space and then this one kind of dealing with hell. Do you ever have a revisitation to a topic where you build out? Because I find if I'm doing it topically, I'll have too much stuff and there's not there's not enough space in the song to use all what I have. So then I'm like, all right, later on, I can revisit this topic. Right. And keep these other cool lines that I didn't get to throw in. Yep. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, um, you know, when, when, when I do sort of thematic records, like I don't feel the need to necessarily have like every single song hit that as long as like the general overall feel is that like that to me is definitely enough like of a concept. But for example, um, uh, the intervening abyss of untold uh, aeons, which is quite a mouthful of a title, but I like excessively <laughs> long death metal song titles sometimes. <laughs> Uh, that one is more like uh, it kind of maybe a throwback to the outer ones, but but through the lens of like Norse mythology, like it's about like the Norse myth of Ganunga Gap, uh, if I'm saying that correctly, uh, a.k.a. the yawning abyss. It's basically like 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 the, the origin story of the universe, but from like a Norse mythology, it's like this like kind of living void of like fire and ice and like they kind of came together in this explosion. And it's almost like kind of like the Big Bang Theory, but like like. This was obviously years way, you know, before like scientific discoveries and stuff like that. But, you know, it's essentially they had like these two planes of like fire and ice that came together. And like that's how like the the world was formed. Um, but there's it's also kind of like a living entity at the same time. So anyway, that felt very Lovecraftian to me, even though it wasn't like a Lovecraft story. It felt like it's in that same kind of wheelhouse. So I'm like, ah, fucking, I'll put that on the, nice. on the album as well, just because it kind of fit the mood of the. I, I need to let the music, I guess, kind of inform me. And then like that kind of in my own way tells me what way I should take the the lyrics. 